Hey guys and thanks for joining me in this video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my summer favorites and I say summer favorites because I really didn't have time to film my July favorites video. So in this video I'm going to be sharing my July and August favorites. I usually don't use a lot of makeup during the summer so this video is not going to be too long but I'm going to be sharing all of the products that I loved in July and August. And before I start a huge thank you to everyone who joined the discussion in my previous video. In my previous video I shared with you 5 skincare secrets and tips on how to make your skin beautiful, glowing and I asked you to share your skincare secrets or one skincare secret. A lot of people joined the discussion, a lot of people shared secrets from their mothers or grandmothers or just random things that they tend to do on a daily basis and I really enjoyed this discussion. A huge thank you to everyone who joined the discussion. If you haven't watched this video, I'm going to have a link in the description box. Go ahead and check it out and definitely check out the comments because I received some really great tips and tricks on how to achieve that beautiful skin that I'm definitely going to be including into my daily skincare routine. So back to summer favorites. And the first product that I'm going to show you is a foundation and it's quite new actually. I started using this foundation a couple of weeks ago but I'm absolutely falling in love with this foundation. I've fallen in love with this foundation actually from the very first application. So this is the new foundation by Sisley and this is Fitutan Ultra Eclat and I did a full review of this foundation so I'm going to have a link in, in case you haven't watched this video. I really like how this foundation performs. It's a long-lasting oil-free foundation that has some skincare ingredients and it has natural ingredients, which is to be expected from Sisley, and it does have a fragrance. However, I was told that actually the fragrance comes from the floral extracts that are in this foundation, so this really has some skincare benefits. Ever since I got this foundation, I've been wearing it every single day. I don't want to wear a different foundation because my skin feels amazing when I'm wearing this foundation. It is so calm and... It feels so light. It actually feels like nothing on the skin. And what's interesting about this foundation is that also Michelle Wong did a review uh, uh, along with Abby White and they both have completely different skin type. My skin is combination to oily and during the summer it's definitely oily, but Michelle and Abby, they have more of a dry skin and they both loved this foundation. I also love it. So I have to say that this is quite an extraordinary product because usually foundations that work very very nice on my oily skin usually they feel very drying on people who have dry skin. However this is really something very very interesting for me because this foundation seems to be performing really nice both for oily skin and for dry skin. Now when I use this foundation I always use powder on top. Um, I never use it without powder, but during the summer I would normally never go out without powdering my face, but when I use powder on top of this foundation, I don't need to touch up during the day. So I'm usually wearing this foundation for seven, eight, nine hours without touching up and my skin looks amazing. Now, if you have very oily skin, you definitely need to use powder, but I use powder with any foundation. Now, a lot of people asked me which shade I'm wearing in this foundation. The foundation that I have is number two, Soft Beige. However, this is a very, very dark shade for my skin skin tone. It does work for me right now because it's the end of the summer, I have a little bit of tan and I only use very little and it warms up my skin and I don't need to use bronzer when I'm using it but I will definitely need a shade or two paler um, if I want this foundation to match perfectly my skin tone. However, I couldn't get a lighter shade. Next I have an eyeshadow palette and this is by Tom Ford and this is Suspicion by Tom Ford and I've been enjoying this eyeshadow palette quite a lot recently. I think it's very suitable for the summer, for the fall season. I think it's suitable actually for all seasons and it is very very suitable for any occasion. I don't know what to say about this eyeshadow palette. I'm in love with this eyeshadow palette. It's, it is definitely one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. Moving on to a fragrance. Moving on to 
This is one of my all-time favorite fragrances, but I especially love wearing this fragrance during the summer, and this is Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. This is one of my most used summer fragrances. I use it actually also in the winter. I use it any season, but I've been enjoying this fragrance so much recently. And it's just the most amazing and the most innocent and the most beautiful fragrance that I can imagine. This is my all-time favorite. This is one of my all-time favorite fragrances and it just makes me feel like it gives me that beautiful Parisian vibe and it also gives me the vibe of the French Riviera. It is so clean, so feminine, so girly, but without being too sweet without being it just is very elegant very sophisticated and everyone seems to love this fragrance next i've been traveling quite a lot this summer and it was mainly business travels i'm it was not really for fun so i really need to have beautiful skin but at the same time i'm always stressed when you travel for work you're usually stressed so this has been saving my skin so this is the the skincare that I've been carrying with me all the time and this is the Guerlain's Abbey Royale Double R Renew and Repair Serum and this has been keeping my skin so smooth, so flawless that most of the time I don't even wear foundation when I'm using this. It, it's just such a brilliant product. However, it does contain alcohol so for those of you who are sensitive to alcohol, keep that in mind. It does contain alcohol but it is a brilliant product. It really helps to achieve that very smooth, very perfected complexion if you use it in the morning and in the evening. And as I said, when I travel, I usually travel for work, so I can't afford to take everything. Like, I can't afford to get a full bag um, of makeup products and skincare and start applying different serums and creams and essence and all that kinds of things. When you're traveling for work, you usually want something that works, something that is going to make your skin look beautiful, something that is just not going to create any problems. So this has been saving me because it's been keeping my skin looking perfect. It helps to minimize the pores a little bit and it keeps my skin so smooth and so beautiful i actually don't feel the need to wear foundation and it's a all-in-one product that i've been using all the time when i travel i just get this one this is 30 ml one fluid ounce so this is quite small as you can see and it easily fits any bag it doesn't take too much space and i just apply this in the morning and in the evening and my skin looks like wow like a supermodel Next, I'm moving on to lips. And for lips, I've been using mainly these three products. So two of them are from Sisley and I love mixing these two. So one is a lipstick that I've already shown and look how cute it comes with a little dust bag. So if you're someone who really likes to look at the pretty packaging, this is very, very handy. I really love and I adore the fact that this lipstick comes in this little dust bag. This is number 11 and this is Le Fito Rouge. And it's a very, very beautiful, very pretty nude color that is suitable for any occasion. And I think this lipstick, this lipstick color is going to be suitable for almost all skin tones. And I've been wearing mainly this and on top, because this is a matte lipstick, it's not drying, but it's a matte lipstick. I usually like to soften a little bit the color because my skin is quite pale. And on top, I like to use this one. And this is again by Sisley. This is lip crayon and this is number one. So this is somewhere in the middle between the lip gloss and the lipstick. It's very, very pale. So... I don't know if it's worth the investment. You definitely have to decide for yourself because it is quite pale. So the reason why I love this one, most of the time if I don't have a meeting or like a business meeting or something like that, I'm just going to go out and I am going to throw this in my handbag and I'm going to use it instead of a lip gloss because it's very moisturizing and it gives a little bit of color. It gives that hint of color that everybody wants but without being a lipstick. So this is something some somewhere in the middle between lipstick and, um, and a lip balm. 
Now, this is definitely an investment. So depending on your budget, if if you're on a tight budget or if you're on a budget, definitely I, I'm not sure that I can recommend this one because it is more of a lip balm. It's not going to give that much of a color. And on my skin, as you can see, I have quite pale skin. It looks more like a lip balm. All right, so this is the lipstick number 11, and this is the lip crayon. And my favorite way to use those two is to apply a little bit of the lipstick and then on top I like to apply the lip crayon because it gives me that additional moisture and also because I have very very thin lips when I apply a little bit of this glossy lip crayon on top of the lipstick it makes my lips look a little bit fuller. And the other lipstick that I've been wearing a lot this is my all-time favorite a lot of you probably know this color and this is by Dior and this is number 766 Rose Harper's and this is the most gorgeous fuchsia color so this is for everyone who can't wear pink or red color this is actually a brilliant color it's somewhere in the middle and I'm wearing this color in my latest video um, the skincare video so if you want to see how this color looks on my lips definitely check out my latest video okay so these are the three colors that I've been using and actually, this color always gets me so many compliments. It's just such a beautiful color and it makes any look more special. So during the summer, I usually don't like to wear a lot of makeup. You can just apply a little bit of mascara and throw on a color like this and you're going to look fabulous. This kind of colors that are really bright, beautiful fuchsia colors are very suitable for everyone. And if you have thin lips like mine, do not be afraid to wear this kind of color because it actually makes your lips look a lot bigger than they actually are. Moving on to the next product, and I mentioned a lot of traveling. When I travel, I always have a bottle of this with me. Now, this is too big, but my little bottle, I have a 30 ml bottle, is packed right now because I'm about to travel today. And this is Caudalie Eau de Beauté. And this is the Beauty Elixir by Caudalie. And it smells so nice so fresh. Now some people use this as setting spray um, on top of their makeup. I don't use it as setting spray because my skin is oily and um, I don't know, I, I don't use it as setting spray, but I always have a bottle of this and I like to spray it after my skincare or before starting my skincare. It has some essential oils and the fragrance, it does have a fragrance. The fragrance is amazing. It is so refreshing. And I love using this when I'm on a plane. When you're on a plane and if you tend to feel a little bit dizzy or I don't know, I just love having a bottle of this when I'm on a plane. It really is that kind of pick me up product. I first saw this when um, Lisa Eldridge showed this and she said that she loved using this on flights now next time when i was on a flight i had a bottle of this and it really does make a difference it makes a huge difference now the mist is very very fine so you can easily spray this and it immediately makes you feel a lot better so i always use this on planes and i would usually spray this just in the palm of my hands and just pat it on my skin now another product that I'm going to show you, I don't have a full size of this one, but I had, I love it. It's one of my favorite cleansing oils and I always use this. When I go and I shop at Chanel's store, I always ask them to give me samples of this. This is the um, anti-pollution cleansing oil. Um, I've already shown you a lot of times the Clinique cleansing balm, but also this is one of my favorites. And this is actually one of my favorite cleansing oils. It does have a fragrance, but it removes makeup so effortlessly. You can use it also on your eyes. I don't use it for the eyes, but it's brilliant to clean all the makeup off of your face sunscreen and everything it is such a beautiful product now i have to grab a full size bottle of this because i haven't used it for a while as you can see it's very very small but it's going to last you for approximately a week probably because i've already used it three times and as you can see i barely used any it's very very good 
And last but not least, I also have a powder favorite and of course my skin is oily during the summer so I can't leave without powder. I always need something just to make my skin a little bit more airbrushed and generally I feel more confident when I'm wearing powder because it tends to tends to erase all the imperfections. I don't like to wear a lot of foundation. I usually wear foundation only here and there on a daily basis. I never wear like foundation all over my face, but I always use powder because it mattifies my face and it keeps it very kind of airbrushed. And this is one of my all-time favorite powders. It's by Givenchy and this is Prisma Libre mousseline pastel and also when my foundation is a little bit darker like this one this powder can make um, the color match a little bit better because it is very very pale and i like to apply this powder with a beauty blender or any kind of sponge but mainly i like to use beauty blender when i apply this powder and I would suggest this powder to those of you who have oily skin because if you have dry skin this is actually um, it's not going to do any good because this is a mattifying powder. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to leave me a comment. Tell me some of your summer beauty favorites or any kind of favorites that you had during this summer or share with me any products that you enjoyed using this summer. It's really important. And if you have a favorite SPF, don't forget to mention it below because today we're talking about summer favorites and one of the most important things during the summer is wearing SPF. Don't forget to wear your SPF religiously and I hope that I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye!